y'all welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> okay um uh, today is um the 14th and as you guys can tell by this video because i know y'all seen that thumbnail i will be doing a uh, dorm essentials what you need for your dorm type of thing you feel me pause though pause I know y'all see that number down below, and I know you see that it has four numbers, though. Guess who just hit 1K? Yeah. Just hit 1K. Just hit 1K. Just hit 1K. Okay. So let me get back to the video. I will be doing the dorm essentials video, what you need for your freshman year. Really all years, but I know freshmen is going to be... Freshmen are going to be looking at this because... I was once I was once in y'all spot before and I was looking at all the videos and this is just some things I wish I'd seen that I didn't see like on certain videos. I wish I'd seen these things. So we're gonna get right into this video. So we're gonna start off with um need when you first get to your dorm. So when you get to your dorm, you done moved you done got all your bags and stuff, you're walking into the room, and you're like, mmm, it's a little dusty in here. You feel me? It's a little ooh. Mmm. So when you get to the dorm, you're gonna have to. You need cleaning supplies. So you're gonna get to your dorm. You need to go back to the to your to the store nearby, or if you're coming, bring some cleaning supplies from home because they haven't cleaned that sh cleaned that out since the last person got there, and that's a lot of months that passed through. And ain't no telling. They probably was barely. They was probably half assed when they cleaned it. Okay, so y'all gonna have to do the work and put that work in to clean that room. Okay. Make sure you get, like, one of your things you need is, like, all-purpose cleaner. So, like, box, the brand and stuff like that. Fabuloso and stuff. Like, you're going to need some of that. So, make sure you get that. Make sure you get some Clorox wipes so you can wipe down everything. And I'm talking about, like, imagine how many people have been there before you. Just, just put it like, just imagine it like that. Like, imagine how many people have been there before you got there, okay? So, make sure you get Clorox wipes. Make sure you get Lysol um, spray that whole room down. Like, I'm, y'all think I'm playing. No, spray that whole, like, use the whole bottle type shit. Like, use everything to clean that room because ain't no telling what happened in that room, okay? Make sure, I said Fabuloso, but make sure you have Fabuloso because personally, I use Fabuloso for the smell and because it, it's an all-purpose cleaner, but make sure you have Fabuloso because at times, you just gonna want to clean, scrub it up, dub. Do you have make sure you have air freshener you want to keep your room clean okay we want to have we want to make sure our room is always smelling good so i used to have i used to have um, breeze like the little plugins like you know the little plugins you put in the wall i used to have those um and i had an electric wax burner so i know some some colleges are a little iffy with the little burning stuff like i don't even know if my college cared about the electric wax burner i don't know they never found it or I, I mean I wasn't trying to hide it you feel me but we don't want our room to be smelling funky okay we want to always smell good make sure like I know a lot of people they do their dishes a lot of people have their dishes because you don't want to eat the cat food all the time like don't get me wrong the cat food be decent but like you want to cook your own food so make sure when you have your dishes make sure you have dish soap and stuff like you can clean it out in your sink I have my well personally I have my own bathroom so you can clean it out and some people have communal you can clean it out in that in your communal bathrooms it's no shame it's literally just water like it's not that deep so have your dish soap have your sponges to clean your dishes with because what are you gonna clean your dishes with if you only have dish soap <laughs> when you're in your room make sure that you have your broom dustpan all that stuff because your floor is gonna get dirty at some certain points you might spill something whatever so make sure that you have a broom and dustpan also make sure you have a mop because a lot of people have hard i don't think any colleges have carpet yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. They do, but a lot of people have hardwood floors, so make sure that you have a mop so you can clean stuff up fast. Make sure you can just clean it up, like, you feel me? Sometimes it might be a rough day, and you might need to clean. You Make sure you have a mop, okay? Make sure you have a mop. So when you're in your room, in my, when I was in my dorm, um, I had a small trash can, and my roommate had a big trash can, like, at the beginning of the door, so we can put everything in there, like, stuff that was too big to fit in a small trash can. We just put in the big trash can, just took it out once it got full. Like, it, I feel like that was a great system, like, because sometimes if you have a small trash can, you might have bigger things that you need to put in. In my dorm, we didn't really have any big trash cans except for, like, on one floor, and I was in the laundry room, and I was on the third floor. 
So it's like you don't want to go all the way downstairs. I mean, you could just literally walk two steps in your room. So that's it for that. So when you when it comes to your bedding, so a lot of the dorms are gonna have twin XL. So make sure when you go to Walmart, you are getting a twin XL bed sheet, twin XL comforter. Um, I had a. I had a gray comforter and a, like a gray. Sh you can get a little set from Walmart, okay? If you're trying to be cheap, I and mean, you can get a little set from Walmart that's only about like, like twenty five, thirty dollars or whatever. Um, I had a I had a little extra cute pink comforter that laid well throw over. Y'all know the little throw over beds. I had a little throw over cover just in case. Like sometimes I don't want to get all the way in my bed. I can just like sleep on top of the covers and just have my pink throw over on. Also, you need pillows because you're not going to need pillows. This is not a hotel, okay? So make sure you have your own pillows. I had like about four pillows and I had a little stuffed animal. I mean, if you want to get cute, you don't got to do all that, like all the stuff I did. But if you want to be cute and have like a little stuffed animal, have like a thousand pillows, you gonna, you're not going to sleep with a thousand pillows. I hate the people that be having like 10 pillows on their bed, baby. You're going to, you're not, you don't need 10 pillows, okay? Some people I know had a little, um, they bought a float, a floater headboard or whatever, um, because I know for some dorms, you don't really have a headboard, like, it's, like, so small. So, you can order a, a little headboard, a floating headboard or whatever, if you're, if you want that. It's so not needed, because I didn't have it. My roommate didn't have it. She had it. So, it's, it's really up to you, okay? Um, make sure you have a mattress protector, because we're not sleeping on no mattresses, because I told y'all, y'all don't know what happened. Okay, y'all don't know what's been there. Um, so for my dorm, I didn't have like my bed couldn't rise, like it was just on the floor. I'm not gonna lie, it couldn't rise. But for some beds, um, you can get a a bed, you can get a bed riser to rise your bed or whatever. Only certain dorms uh, had that to where you can put the bed riser on there. So you really have to, you really have to know what bed you're getting. So make sure don't buy it. Y'all, do not buy it because I did that. Don't buy it before you know what bed you're getting because that's going to be a waste of money and it's going to be a whole thing, okay? You can get a little extra, like, mattress softener thing. Like, I think that's what a mattress... Did I go with mattress topper? Yeah, a little mattress topper type of thing to, like, so you can sleep extra comfortable because those beds aren't really comfortable. But if you're tired, you feel me? <laughs> but make sure you get like a little topper just so you can see extra comfortable and stuff like that so you feel like you're sleeping on air for real next we're gonna go over to the desk organizer so we all know that it comes with a desk so you're good you don't need to buy no desk it comes with a desk so but you want to make sure you have like a lamp when you're doing your work you don't want to be doing your work in the dark or like what if your roommate's tired you don't want to flick on the light just so you can see your work that's that's gonna cause some issues so make sure you have like a lamp or whatever so you could do your work that that's really needed okay make sure you have a lamp make sure you have your school utensils baby this is not high school they're not providing you with anything they're not providing you with a pencil a pen paper nothing make sure you have pencils pens paper binders folders make sure you have your notebooks spiral notebooks to be exact I mean I really like spiral notebooks I don't really like composition because it's just too small for me um, I be having a lot of stuff to write down and I just don't but I mean they don't break fast So, you know, but you have like all that stuff because they're not providing you with anything. I promise you they're not make sure you have your computer so Okay, if you can't get a computer, it's not the end of the world Okay, if you can't get a computer, it's not the end of the world, but you need a computer They do have like a library where you can do your work. They have computers and stuff but you kind of do need your computer like on certain days where it's like your teacher might be like, okay, we're doing our class online. We might go virtual. Sometimes the computers in the library, in the library might not have a camera. So you need, you kind of need a computer, but it's not the end of the world if you don't. Okay, so for me, I didn't need a printer. But for a lot of people, they did have printers. In my opinion, you don't need a printer. So you won't have to go to the library. We had a center called Re the Reach Center for Tuskegee. We had a um, center called the Reach Center where they had computers and um, printers and stuff so that you can print your stuff. Sometimes the printers might be down, so that would be a good thing if you had your own printer, but you're not really printing stuff every day, for real. Make sure, okay, let me show y'all. So, 
This is one of the most important things or one of the best things I've had. This calendar is like so amazing. Like it's so amazing. Instead of having to buy a, um, a calendar over and over again, make sure you get like a dry erase calendar so you can just write on it all the time, erase it, write a new month, erase it. You really need it when you go to college. You need to stay organized because it's so much going on when you're in college, so much baby. So make sure you have a calendar. Make sure you also have a planner that you can carry around with you because like, yeah, you have a calendar, but it might be sometimes while you're like doing schoolwork that you're like, oh shit, let me hurry up and write it down. Like, I'm not the type, I'm not the type of person that can put stuff on my phone. Like, important stuff, yeah, but like, I can't put my whole schedule on my phone. Like, I just, I get overwhelmed. So make sure you have a planner so you can just constantly write stuff down and I like to check my planner, so that's good. So just make sure you have something that you want to write in. Make sure that y'all have dry erase markers. You're going to need dry erase marker markers for your calendar. Some people have whiteboards. I don't really see the purpose, but a lot of people do. So make sure you have like a whiteboard or something like that. So you can just write whatever you need to write on it. Make sure you have like sticky notes. I never use those sticky notes. I'm not even gonna sit here a lot to you. I never really use sticky notes, but a lot of people do use it for like to make sure they put stuff on different things, different assignments, different papers that they might have, or just to remind themselves about certain things. Whatever you need to use it for, that is a good thing to use. I didn't personally use it. I don't feel like it's necessary, but if people are different, so if you feel like you need it, then they talked about this, but they didn't talk about this a lot. You need a calendar. I mean, I said a calendar. You need a calculator. Seriously, they're not gonna provide you with any calculators. Like, so if you are, if you have a math test, they might be like, "Oh yeah, you can use your calculator." That might be the reason why you fail, because you don't got no damn calculator. Okay, you need a calculator, scientific calculator. Get that, because they're not giving you a calculator, and you're gonna be sick when everybody else got a calculator and you don't. And that might be the reason why you fail. Okay. Next, we're gonna go on to the living essentials. So. So it was like my dorm I had three floors. They had a microwave on each floor for us. So I mean it really depends on your school. I'm not gonna lie. So if you need um a microwave or air fryer, ask your school and make sure that your school allows it first before you go purchasing everything. Um my school didn't but they did have one on each floor. But it of course that comes with troubles and stuff people being dirty, people not cleaning af up after themselves. So if you want it, if I could have got it I would. <laughs> Next we have the refrigerator. This is really big. Make sure you get a refrigerator, okay? Because you don't want nobody eating your shit. You don't want nobody. I don't even think we had a, a refrigerator to like a community refrigerator for the dorm. So make sure you have a refrigerator because you might want to store some stuff. You might want some snacks because you get tired of the cat food, okay? So you might want to just store some snacks in there, store some drinks. I recommend getting a big, um, like a refrigerator with a deep freezer. And a regular freezer because I only had the one where you had like the like regular cool part. Like it wasn't a freezer part. I recommend you get in the freezer part so you can like store some stuff that you can put in the microwave. I couldn't do that because mine, it wasn't cold enough. So make sure you get that. So freeze up like microwave some, have some microwavable stuff in there. So you, in case you get tired of the cat food, that's really, really important. Make sure you all have a fan when it's hot. Because my AC was broken most of the time. I don't think my AC ever worked. Yeah, I don't think it ever worked. <laughs> so make sure I have a little fan fan for yourself because it be getting hot. Like, I was in Alabama, it be getting hot. Like, really hot. Humid hot in your dorm. It feel better outside than your room type shit. Like, it gets hot, okay? Sure. And then in the cold, I don't know if it was like school allows this. But it got really cold in my dorm and like really bad. Like it was really, really cold to the point where we had to get heaters. So make sure you kind of have your own heater in just in case that happens because you don't want to be cold and like having to wait for a heater because people are taking too long and stuff like that. So make sure you buy your heater because it do be getting cold if your heat does not work because my heat was not working. So for like stuff like this, make sure you have like command strips and stuff like that so you can put it onto your wall don't get no super duper command strips because they will take the paint off that wall and you will get charged <laughs> so make sure you get like something that's not gonna take the paint off your walls um you can hang up like pictures and stuff like that because you we all know you can't put nails and stuff into your wall so make sure you put like 
make sure you get that that's really essential to what you need for your room um storage cards so i had like a little storage bin like not the one that you wrote but i had like stuff to put like my undergarments in lots like, bras all that stuff i put that into my in my thing some people use it as a nightstand on people i use mine as a nightstand because i just didn't feel the need of buying a whole nightstand nightstand and you didn't have that much space like a nightstand would take a lot of space so and then i had another storage bin in my bathroom that held like all my hygiene products lotions perfumes all that stuff hair products in there so i feel like you need a storage bin get a storage bin like it can be used for anything just get a storage bin and you're gonna find you're gonna find a use for it okay make sure so when we get to college you know we can we dealing with thousands of people that come from everywhere people are gonna be getting sick and getting colds covid all that when i first got to college i got covid i got covid so make sure you have sick medicine like tylenol pain medicine all that type of stuff because it's really gonna be needed because that student health, everybody know about, like, if you go to HBCU, student health don't really be caring for real. Um, make sure y'all have sick medicine and stuff so you can heal yourself back because you don't want to be sick and people, you coughing and people like, ooh, that coughing. I don't like people that cough. It makes my skin crawl. Like, hearing people be sick and... <laughs> That shit gets so annoying. Like, bro, go blow your nose. We're too old to be hearing that. Go blow your nose. Go take care of yourself. Nobody wants to hear you sniffle every five seconds. Like, that's disgusting. Go care of yourself. Go handle yourself back at your dorm because nobody wants to get sick. Make sure you have a laundry basket because you're going to have to do your laundry. Like, you're not going to be wearing the same clothes over and over again. Like, that's disgusting, okay? Make sure you have a laundry basket so you can carry it. I mean, you can have a... Okay, so I did. I had a laundry basket to take to my laundry and to just put my clothes in. But some people, like, have a laundry basket that they take to the laundry room so that it's like a... I'm gonna show a picture. It's like easier to put to carry around and stuff like that instead of just having to hold this big ass laundry basket and shit like that. I'm sorry, excuse my language. But make sure you have like a, a little laundry bag that you can put all your clothes in and carry it to the laundry room. I was on the third floor. Sometimes that elevator ain't work. So I would rec really recommend having two laundry things to where one of them you can take it to the laundry room and take back, and then one of them you just put your dirty clothes in, okay? Make sure you have your laundry like tie paws and stuff. Because they, some of them provide them, some of them don't. Some of them run out. And, oh, when I mean by provide, you still have to pay money for it. Like, they're not going to give it to you for free. But make sure you have, like, Tide Pods and stuff. Tide Pods really came in handy. Now, I feel like it's easier to use Tide Pods than a regular, like, regular laundry t detergent. And, yeah, I feel like you should use, like, Tide Pods because it's easier to, like, manage. You won't run out as quick. I, ha I still have my two bins of Tide Pods to this day people have ran out of their regular ones because they don't know how to manage it and also fabric softener you can use that i personally personally didn't use it i probably should have but it's not that deep make sure that you have tissue now i have my own bathroom so i needed to buy my own tissue my own paper towels but if you have communal that's provided for you um make sure you have i know for if you have communals make sure you have shower shoes even if you don't have communal, because I have my own bathroom with my roommate, and I still use shower shoes because you just never know, okay? Make sure you have shower shoes, because God knows what is in that bathroom. <laughs> you don't want your bed. You don't want to get no fungus, girl, or boys. You don't want to get no, no fungus. You don't want nothing to touch your feet. I'm all about nothing touching my feet. Have shower shoes. Make sure you have, if you have your own bathroom, make sure you have a mat, like a mat that you put by your sink and a mat that you put by your shower because you don't want to be tracking water all through that bathroom make sure you have towels and face cloths like that of course this is pretend like you're living on your own that you need in case you were living at home make sure you bring it to your dorm okay in my dorm it was only a little bit of like a extension how you say it? like the ports a little square that you put the charger ports in make sure i have extension cords because i had a lot of stuff to plug in my tv my computer charging my phone charging my camera charger my my mirror charger because i just my fan charge i just had a lot of stuff that i needed to charge around my room and it was only a little bit of places to plug stuff up in so make sure y'all got y'all have like a a little a little extension cord stuff like well i had about four extension cords so make sure y'all have because sometimes it wasn't long enough so make sure i have a extension cord and i had a little thing that I, i'm gonna show you guys i had a little thing that i put on the wall 
to put my phone and my keys and stuff in. I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. So make sure you guys have that because that's that really comes in handy, I'm telling you. So next we have the clothing section. When you get to college, I have a lot of shoes, but I had like a lot of storage, like I had a lot of drawers. They they offer me a lot of drawers to put my stuff in, my clothes and stuff. So I had two drawers, so I put my shoes in there, but I do recommend having a shoe rack. I wish I could have had a shoe rack because those drawers still weren't enough for my shoes. So make sure that you guys like have a shoe rack to put y'all shoes. If you have a lot of shoes, make sure you have a shoe rack because it'll just be easier save more space and all that shit stuff. Make sure you have a hanger organizer. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. So I have a lot of clothes. I will admit, I have a lot of clothes. So make sure you have, I'm gonna show you, it's like this thing, this hanger thing where you, it's like holes on it and you can put clothes on each one of the things so it saves the space instead of putting a hanger on each, like on the whole rack because that that little closet that they give y'all that they give us is nothing it's literally nothing if you want bins in your, around your room make sure you have that i think i already said that but i'm gonna say it again because it's needed make sure you have an organizer bin people that are in communal you're gonna have to walk to your, to the bathroom and something and walk back in something so i recommend using a robe use a robe i didn't have communal but i still use my robe in case i didn't get dressed in my bathroom sometimes i got dressed on my side of the room and stuff but get like a little fuzzy cute little robe um like a towel filling robe i think that that concludes everything thank you guys so 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 much for watching this video let me know if you guys want to see anything else about college because i'm about to be doing a whole college series we're on the road to 2k we're on the road to 2k now so thank you guys again for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe